Hey guys, and welcome to a Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise Part 1. So, in this part, we're just gonna already move in my pre made sim. We do not need to make another sim because I already said that I was just gonna move in a mermaid I already made, and I updated it after Island Paradise to the way I liked it. And you can download the pre island paradise version in the linked in the linked video below you can check out the create my creative sim aquamarine video download link is in there for the sim i will also upload the after island updated after island paradise version if you would like to but i'm not gonna get around to it right now so for right now, we're just going to move in when we already have, so, yep, let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy part one. Alright, so here we are just moving the original sim in. So I'm just going to move into a, we're going to move her into a boat house because it's probably cheaper than a normal house and probably going to be using a boat house a lot more than a regular house. We'll buy one eventually, but we're just going to get this one for right now, so. We're going to wind up picking an or the orange one. So right now you can just see me looking around. I did use a free real estate sheet only because I wanted to make sure I had enough money to get a house boat. I am not using any sheets for this Let's Play, except a few. So I'm moving into the boat house. I will not use Mother Road or Kaching cheats unless absolutely needed or in case to reduce like a glitch or something. So I did have to use testing cheats to have more money. But it's only because I need to purchase a lifetime reward, which you'll see in a moment. So we just moved into our little boat house and Yep, it's pretty nice. It's very nice. So I'm using, I'm turning on Motherload right now, only because I need to get fifty. I need to get the fifteen thousand dollars for the lifetime reward, and I'm gonna turn into a mermaid. But that's the only cheat we're gonna use. We're not gonna use any other cheats. We only needed to do Motherload to get money, only for the lifetime reward to be a mermaid. So we're just gonna use that. And no more mother road. So we have our initial extra fifty thousand. No more mother road cheats. No more. No more cheats with money. We're gonna do it all ourselves. So that's it with cheats. We just used up our first chance. So now we're just gonna feed her the mermaid kelp, and she's gonna transform into a mermaid. Let's see what happens. Ooh. She's gonna... Oh, now she's, like, dripping. Oh, that's a nice effect. You have, like, an aura. She has, like, a blue aura around her. And she turns to a mermaid. Let's see what happens. Now you can change the color of the tail, but I haven't figured it out until later on. So, for the first initial first part it's gonna have a purple tail but later we change that to a aqua marine colored tail just like the movie in the movie version of aquamarine so we're gonna turn that off right now yep so we're gonna turn that off Check out our new boat house. This room is one of the nicer ones, I thought. We're just gonna make a few changes to it. You see me just going through my collections. I'm going to put in a. What am I doing? I'm gonna put in a. I don't know, maybe, 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 maybe make a few upgrades. So we're gonna. Let's see. 
<laughs> Alright, we're gonna upgrade the counters, it looks like, yeah. We're gonna upgrade the counters and sort by our stuff. Get rid of these ugly counters we have. Well, not, not ugly, but we're gonna get, like, nicer looking counters. Alrighty, so let's see what counters we want. I feel like I really overuse the late night ones, like on every house. So try to go with something different. Let's go with the mid century modern ones. First, we need to get rid, first we need to get rid of those two counters. Let's put the mid century one in, okay? So. Those are kind of like nice. They have like, kind of like a little wavy, like looking little oval on them. Like they look kind of like beachy, and they look good with that little wall lamp. Now it's still kind of old looking. Probably something to go with the late night one. Could we always do probably? These are custom content ones. Don't really want an older looking one. Yeah, we'll just go with the late night one, of course. Streamline stove. Get rid of the uh, fetus looking one. The fetus. I don't know what it's called. Something with an F. <laughs> fetus. Now that one actually, actually didn't realize it left it out there. And it's been there. And, and it got like repoed. So I'm glad it's gone. Let's see that in the the other part but it's hilarious I didn't even re remember it was there it was somehow just got there it was so funny so besides me foreshadowing what's gonna happen in the next part let's go back to what we're doing currently let's see probably gonna get rid of that fridge it kind of goes well with the counters but like I don't know I just don't really like that fridge too much it kind of looks like cheap but nice but it's kind of cheap cheap looking so probably gonna go with more modern and probably like expensive ones I really overuse the late night ones so let's go with the stainless steel one let's get rid of that one yep we want the stainless steel one try to do something different than the usual you know I just really overuse that Okay, that's nice. Why the hell did I just delete that? Ugh, I'm like really picky. But it doesn't look good together with, it, with those. It looks really ugly together, so. Like, it doesn't look right. It looks like. I don't know. It looks odd. Whatever. We're just gonna get a snow cone machine. Because it's houseboat, but we're the summery kind of machine for the summer. And we don't, have, we don't have any room for another counter, so... I want to get a coffee machine, but we can't really put it anywhere. So we need at least one counter to make food. So... Yeah. So now we're on the second floor. We're going to put in some like decorations and change it up a little bit. And I'm just looking through the Island Paradise catalog. Try to see what's what's new. Just checking out new stuff. I realized that was a waterfall. <laughs> so there was a cabinet. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I was gonna try to put a blueprint in, but it didn't fit. So fit for our house upgrades. Seems like. So yep. So I realized I forgot something. Let's take a look. 
So now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to plan an outfit. She only has like one outfit of each category and it's kind of annoying. So we're seeing like every day. It's so repetitive. So we're going to customize her outfits again. Let's take a look. Alrighty, so here we are. We're gonna check out her swimsuits. So we're gonna leave the original bathing suit as it was. And we're going to put on a second and third swimsuit. So let's see. Here we go, okay, the second bathing suit. Let's take a look at the second bathing suit options we have. That one's all right. I have a lot of custom bathing suits. Those are very interesting, they're nice. I love the galaxy print on this one, but I don't like it's more one piece. This one's nice, so I'd pick that one, but I want to go with this one because I it's a cover up in a bathing suit. I just love it. I think it's part of Island Paradise. I love that it's sheer. It's from the Sims 3 resource and it's subscriber only, I think. And I got it when it was like I think it was on for like one day. Like one day download only. So it's very nice. It's my favorite, I think. I don't know, it's really nice. So we're going to customize that in blue to match her, the white overlay, I think. Yeah, with the white overlay. I don't like it with the black. So, yep, that one's so pretty. Now for the third one, I wanted to go with the coconut bra because it just screams Island Paradise. And I was thinking about going with the grass skirt, but I really didn't like the grass skirt. So we're going to go with the Seaside Strong, is that Strong, 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 is it Strong? Uh, yeah, I guess Seaside Strong, <laughs> whatever it is, I'm not sure. So I didn't really like the grass skirt, so we'll go with that other one that came with that set. The green looking thing, give this one right here. The Seaside Strong. Or whatever it is. I'm going to leave it in that color too because I like it. Alrighty, so that pretty much concludes this part. In the next part, we'll pick it up by checking out her house and actually starting playing the game. I styled two more everyday outfits off camera. And probably include some pictures after I'm, after I'm done with this little outro if you want to. So like I said earlier, if you want to download the updated version for Island Paradise, I will upload it with with the probably the third part. Yeah, with the third part. Like I'll let you guys know or whatever. Cause I I have to upload the version I just colored the tail the tail blue or aqua color, so I wanna upload that one. So you can download the original version that I have on my channel or the updated version, whichever you would like. I'll probably make probably a separate video of the updated version with pictures instead of just kind of an, the stick at the end of a Island Paradise video. So be tuned for that coming soon. Uh, leave your like suggestions below what you guys want to see make sure you comment thumbs up the video if you like it or if you don't tell me how I could better improve my videos and everything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'm sorry if this audio quality is very bad because I don't have a professional microphone right now I'm gonna get one soon I'm just using one with earphones on it with a little microphone a little Apple one so it's not really that great. I have a microphone, but it's kind of only have to hold it up to my face. So this one's just kind of easier and works pretty good-ish. So it's not really that bad. But I'll definitely get a new microphone, maybe. I'll check it out. I've heard Blue Snowball's pretty good, but I'll check it out. 
so yes uh and again just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next part bye guys